like going through that whirlwind of games in such a short period? Yeah, I, I think you'd, first of all, uh, it, it was the like same as now. Now we waiting so long and then it got going, and it got the same as now too. Like the, the camp was probably five days, and then you had such a short time to prepare, so that it, it was not very good hockey in the beginning. That's for sure. And uh, also, it, it comes down to it, it's so short, so every game is so much more important. You can't go on a losing streak and lose four or five games. So. And I was in Pittsburgh. We, we never experienced that because we have a pretty good team. So it's. But uh, and and uh, what I remember was there was a lot of different like there was players who played. There was players who didn't play at all. They thought there would be a like so there was a lot of players in different shape. That's what I remember when we came into camp. Um, do you have any? words of advice for some of these guys who are going to now go up and play that shortened season? Oh, these guys don't have any problem with that. I mean, they've been playing. They've been playing full season. So the ones who's coming up here, they, I mean, they are a lot ahead of the other ones who's coming in who have not been playing for three or four months now. So. And then what's the key, do you think, for those ones who haven't had the benefit of... Oh, I, hopefully they, they have such a good experience or, or they have a lot of experience from, from their veteran players. So so they can get going and, and I mean they have to lean on the younger guys and the guys who've been playing a little bit in the beginning here but I think they'd be okay it, it's 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 you, you, the whole thing is you got to realize it's a short season so you, you, every game you can't take any games off I think that's that's what you have to do you re, like you got to get going and if you, if you can get a good start it can get you a long way uh, how did you spend, you know, the last lockout? You know, I was spe I spent it in Pittsburgh, okay. and uh, uh, we were working out. Like we started out in October, and we had a lot of guys skating. And when December came around, we were probably a handful left, and so just waited and worked out. And I was actually had it arranged to go back uh, to, to to Sweden in the middle of January, but uh, and it started up, so I didn't have to do that. It's probably you know a good thing you know. Yeah, I think that's what a lot of players have, like who was locked out. The ones who didn't already go over, they probably had it arranged so they're gonna go in the middle of January if it, it's it's got locked out. Yeah. It's probably the same kind of scenery. Sure. Have you have you talked with the the guys here some about your your experience in that shortened season? No, I haven't at all. I mean, and they are in a different boat here. Like they they they, they played. I mean, they just go from. It's almost like get called up to NHL. I mean, they are still playing, and like I mean, they're not going to suffer in practice up there or anything when they when they start camp because they are already in it. The ones who's going to suffer is hasn't been playing. Hopefully, they have been skating a little bit. Right. Um, was there? I don't know. During that season, was there an increased awareness of injuries at all, or concern for injuries? I, I can't remember that. I don't. It's been a few years. Yeah. So it's. I I don't. I'm not sure. That's a good question, though. But I I I don't know. That's probably you can. Something you can Google it. Eh? <laughs> right. Thanks a lot. I appreciate yeah. it. Thank you.